right. Hello, wine drinking people. Today is the 4th of July. Yes, that's right. We're closed. Uh, nobody's here at the Wine Watch. I know you're getting an email from us, but technically we're not here. The store is always open online. You can go online and shop and, uh, you know, buy uh, our inventories live in real time. Everything that we says we've got on the website, unless we just drank it, it's up there. And as you buy it, it comes off of the site. So even on a holiday like July 4th, just because there's no one in the store doesn't mean you can't go shopping at the Wine Watch. Just go online, winewatch.com, and check out all the wine drinking events we've got going on. I'm sorry, nothing this week. You know, I'm out of town. Anyways, we've got a lot of great stuff coming up the rest of the month of July. That's what this email is about, a dinner, our first dinner with the Capitol Grill in Boca Raton. And I'm very excited about working with these guys, the GM and partner there, Bobby, a great guy. And uh, we should have, we already have, I think, most of this dinner sold. Uh, they did it for us for a hundred bucks, and man, that includes wine. You got to pay additional tax and tip with this, but the menu looks outstanding. And hey, they just happen to be having a promotion with Noble Wine Estates this month, anyways, at Capital Grill. So we decided to work with the wines which they're serving. And for those of you that don't know, this is uh, the Jackson portfolio of wines. Jess Jackson, one of the most successful wine producers in California history. Started out with his little winery in Lake County. Uh, most of you have had Kendall Jackson Vintners Reserve Chardonnay. It's in every supermarket in the country. They make a few million cases of this wine alone, but they also have got some of the best small estates in California and around the world. They've invested in properties uh, in Australia, in Italy. Pierre Salon, their winemaker that makes a Verite, uh, is also a co-owner of Chateau Le Segue with them. And we've got an, a really nice lineup. Of some of their more every you know day stuff, but uh, La Crema, a winer which they purchased, makes outstanding Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. We're going to serve their Pinot Gris with this. Matanzas Creek, another winery that they purchased um, relatively recently, and uh, they're known for their Sauvignon Blancs. We're going to show their Sauvignon Blanc there. And then Hartford Court, one of my favorite wineries for Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. Don Hartford now runs the company. Don married Jess's daughter, and, um, well, that's what you get when you marry the daughter. You get to run the company when you know, Jess passed away. Actually, Don is a great guy. He's still out there on the street selling his Hartford Court wines. He was just here earlier this year, and that's what it takes to make great wine. In addition to money and the resources, you need to have passion, and that's one of the things that the Jackson family has always had for wine. And uh, Freemark Abbey, another property, a distressed property that they purchased that now they've turned around. They're making much better wine. This is the only winery in Napa Valley to get two wines in the great Paris tasting of 1976. Well, they didn't win. That's why most people don't know that fact. But, you know, considered one of the greater, best wineries in Napa Valley, the Sycamore and Bosch Vineyard, famous vineyards in Napa, which uh, they still make those wines. And then Kendall Jackson. That's right. We dared put a wine on the table that has the Kendall Jackson name on it. And they make some pretty good wines under the Kendall Jackson label even. I'm not talking about their Vintners Reserve stuff, which is they make an ocean of that. They've got some single vineyard wines like this Merlot, uh, Twin Peaks. And then Adelon, a property from Knights Valley producing outstanding Cabernets. Arrowwood, another property that these guys bought, a distressed property. But the Syrah from them from Sarah Lee's Vineyard, always one of my favorite Syrahs. I don't think the rest of the wines in the portfolio are as good that they were when Arrowwood, Dick Arrowwood, and Elise Arrowwood owned the property. But, um, you know, I think... Um, you know, they're they're still coming to terms with what they're going to do with this. And then the Edmead Zinfandel, what a great dessert wine. What an incredible value. This is the wine we always sell when we put it on the table. And then the menu here looks fantastic. Check it out. We've got uh, like 10 wines we're showing with this six-course menu for $100. An incredible value. Our first event with a Capital Grill in Boca. Check it out. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying, remember, always drink the good stuff first.